Hi Virgo, it's your girl G1 Writer with G1 Insights and this is your July Life and Love Focus. Okay, and so I'm going to get right into it. I don't want to waste any of your time. So Virgo, I'm so proud of you because I feel like this season you're really, like a lot of you are still feeling a bit tied up, but that's only because of the, some issues that you guys have been dealing with, right? But I feel like... um you guys are, like, really growing this season. Like, even in the month of June, I felt, like, really, really amazing. And even now, that energy is still the same. Like, it's like, whoop, I'm high and I can't come down. Like, that type of feeling, right? And not only that, but you guys are really being in touch or getting in touch with the deeper part of you. Like, um, that resourceful side of you, right? That um, the side of you that likes to be organized and punctual and um, that side of you that is confident and very giving and supportive. Like, you guys are really growing back into that person, but it's like on a whole nother level. Is what I'm trying to say, right? So, I see that prosperity is really huge for you, but it's abundance of prosperity that is here for you. So, this season, this month, someone literally may give you, um, like, a either, like, a check or some type of um, huge amounts of money, right? Or someone may even give you, like, a gift of some sort. Like, um, something of extreme value. Something that just really means something to you. I also see that the first week of June, at, I mean, July, you guys are going to be... Um, the first week of July, you guys are going to be still um, feeling a bit, again, a bit tied up, feeling a bit nostalgic and feeling like you really miss someone, feeling like um, you you really can't get over losing someone, feeling, I don't know, I just feel a sense of nostalgia, right? Like, um, and it, it may not even be a person, it could be a place. Maybe you're just really missing that home, maybe you're missing that environment, maybe you're missing the way things um, used to be. Right, but you won't be stuck in that that feeling too long, and it's probably just because your ruling planet Mercury is normally the planet of communication. Um, you know, helping us to kind of put all of our ducks in a row, right? But Mercury is also a very tricky type of planet, especially when it comes to our finances or our communication. So this month, if you feel like a conversation is kind of taking its toll and is really, really becoming a bit negative, possibly between you and someone else, it's okay. Take a breather. Say, honey, I don't want to fight with you today. I love you. Take a breather. Take a step back. Don't overstress it because you're going to this whole new dimension remember you're evolving so um you don't really have too much time to focus on anything that's not helping you grow so virgo it's interesting because i've been feeling your energy like this kind of off and on throughout the year so far but the month of july is going to be interesting because it is our kickoff season like june was a season where we kind of gather things together gather our last bit of resources or whatever it is that we wanted to do try to get back into something that we neglected or that we missed right but for you, in the month of July, you're now taking what you've learned in the month of June and you're putting it into action. And that is really good because Mars and Mercury energy is still in Cancer and it's still kind of hanging around, giving, a, giving us a headache, right? And then... Your ruling planet is going to go retrograde in Cancer, but it's going to end in Leo. So I'm extremely excited, Virgo, just because normally your, your planet go retrograde in your sign. And this is a good, good, good symbolic day and month. Oh, my God. It's such an amazing season for you, Virgo, because... It's not happening this year, which means even though Mercury retrograde normally brings about a lot of delays and concerns and frustrations and uh, miscommunication, because Mercury is going retrograde in a, a different sign, this is good for you because you're not angry. You're not upset. You're not spending time on foolish matters. You're not... Um, in fact, you're more alive and uppity and ready to have fun and that confidence is returning. So this is going to be really, really different for you, especially when it comes to who you socialize with. Okay. So very pay close attention to who you socialize with and how you socialize with them. Be very careful about who you spend your money with or who you give your money to this season. Okay. Um, that's going to be really, really important. And I actually been feeling that energy for you all year actually about um watching who you interact with financially you get what i'm saying make sure 
I mean, just because Mercury isn't going retrograde in your sign don't mean that you can't still be careful. You have to be careful still because Mercury retrograde, um, just like any retrograde, it slows things down. Things get delayed, but Mercury retrograde can have a tendency to even mess up our technology. So if there are any trips that you would like to book, any um, if you would like to go anywhere, any contracts, make sure you read the contracts. I've been telling all of us this because it's extremely important. Every Mercury retrograde is important that we follow through with our plans, okay? But however, Virgo, I don't feel like you will be stuck, though. I feel like it starts out that way, like in the beginning of July, because we do have that new moon in Cancer. But we also have a full moon in your sister sign, Capricorn, happening around the 16th or the 17th, give or take a day, okay? And that week, all right, that's about the second week of July. So about that week, that is when the realization is going to come because that Capricorn energy is bringing those resources. So, dear Virgo, you will be blessed with that tremendous amount of resources, unlimited resources, abundance of resources, abundance of prosperity. So you will be blessed with huge, huge recognitions and uh, transformation. I just see transformation in here as well, okay? So allow yourself to receive all that the universe is giving you because I do see... Uh, a lot of energy here where it's saying to open up and receive, okay? So definitely be open to receiving and be very receptive when it comes to what people are telling you, what people are showing you. Allow your spirit to really uh, uh, to embrace and to take in all that is given to you, but make sure that it is positive. You know, even when you hang with people, make sure that these people are positive, that they speak life into you, that they are keeping you happy, they're putting a smile on your face, because that's going to be play out really really important when it comes to you networking and your finances and making money for a lot of you this could be a promotion for a lot of you this could be just simply a gift of value okay for a lot of you somebody may literally cut you a check or you may find out that you have some money that was supposed to be given to you and you didn't know that you had it all along okay so for a lot of you of course the energy is going to play out different so because this is a general reading okay so for each and every one of you this energy is going to play out differently but it is still going to happen okay again take advantage of those resources that are going to be coming at you it may come to you through a friend through television through reading a book it may come to you through someone that you don't even know be very open to what what someone is showing you this season, okay? Because Virgo, you are in the perfect position to really get everything that you've been waiting for. And I don't feel like it's off limits. I feel like you are literally receiving and getting everything that you deserve this season. And that is beautiful. And I'm so thankful that Mercury is not going retrograde in your sign because I'm a Capricorn and I'm just thankful because you don't know when that Mercury go retrograde in your sign, God, ugh, it's a headache. I hate it. So I'm so glad that it's not happening in your sign. But it is going to end in Leo, which is really good, but bad at the same time. Because Leo is impulsive, and Leo is got to be on his show, got to be on top. And we, it illuminates us, right? Like the sun in Leo illuminates us. But then Mercury retrograde is going to go direct in Leo. So if there's anything that you want to do, just if you can, Virgo, try to wait until like the week before the sun goes into your sign. Like about the 10th or the 12th of August. Try to wait that week, and then hopefully by then, um, you guys will be feeling a lot more motivated to do things or to connect with people. But I do feel like a lot of resources going to be coming at you this season to help you flourish, to help you move on whatever project or whatever it is that you've always wanted to do. You will have the resources and the finances to be able to do so, okay? So even in love, I don't really see any huge big issue. But however, except for the minor um chaos like arguing back and forth just remember that the energy has to pass mercury retrograde is not going to be around forever so the conversation can hold off until after mercury retrograde then clarity will return later but don't force a conversation don't force a relationship don't try to force a divorce um don't make any rash ass decisions during this mercury retrograde if it's anything dramatic you want to do like break up with somebody get involved with somebody have a baby with somebody i know it's a short time to say that but try to do that before mercury goes retrograde trust me i wouldn't i'm not gonna lie to you okay 
You don't want to mess around with this energy. Mars, Mercury going into Cancer, and then Pluto and Saturn is still bothering Capricorn, and then a full moon in Cap. Listen, I'm telling you now, Virgo. And then Venus is also going to go into Leo too. So again, just wait until about the third week of July. You will see what I mean about those resources and love. You will start to see what I'm saying. All those things are going to begin to flow to you, Virgo. You will see exactly what I mean. So this is a season for you to take action, but it's also a season for you to pay attention. And I like that for you, Virgo, because you you love to pay attention to detail. And But sometimes you don't always see the big picture. And this season, oh, you're going to see the big picture. So be patient, my loves. I love you. You have a great week wherever you are in this beautiful universe. And happy summer. Bye.